Welcome back to another battle, everybody. I am C. My name is Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination Player. Today we're playing Progressive Capitals on the Europe Advanced Map. We have a extended two-point hold over the bottom. We got quite a bit of material there. We've got the Gascony hold here if we want it. We've also got a decent play for Russia, but I'm worried orange caps on this three here. Warrior orange caps on the three. I can cap on this two safely. Red might still go behind me, but maybe they go on the three in the middle. And I can just play for France. I can play for Russia off of that. I've got options here, even if red does go behind me. Also, potential infinite trading zone if red goes behind me. Um, obviously, don't have a ton of material over here, but I do like having one of the two points along the bottom. Uh, along this whole hold here. So I think I'm going to do that. We're going to be bold. We're going to try to snowball this game relatively quickly if we are able we are playing with neutral bots today we've got the uh we got the regular meta settings here but we're playing with neutral bots because i'm on a bit of a time crunch with the recording today so hopefully we can take a nice quick spain hopefully red doesn't cap behind us but if they do we'll deal with it we got a lot of material up in russia but again if i capped on kharkiv here i run the risk of having orange cap up on this three in russia uh, which would have kind of nipped my whole strategy in the bud in terms of trying to take Russia and then wouldn't have held the one point, uh, one of two points on the left hand or on this left bottom area here. So if we get like a red cap here or maybe whoever caps on Egypt maybe takes that. But we have vision on the entire extended hold here. If orange caps on this three or on this one here, I've got a three here. My five cap should be fine. And we just take that. And we two point uh, Spain. I doubt orange caps on Rabat. That's a pretty bad capital. If he does choose that, uh, I'm jinxing this. But we should get a pretty decent capital. And I actually would have an additional one to fortify into there. So that would be a pretty exceptionally terrible capital. Um, blue's out of the first position, though. Orange is bot capping? Random capping, maybe? bot capping and we don't see the bot cap interesting and that's going to be a neutral bot cap and red in fact does not go behind us which is quite good we can roll assuming we get six, six troops here don't get double rolled by by blue which i don't really think i'm in a position to get double rolled by blue um i should be able to take this bonus we can hit the three up this way well it depends on the dice we get on this if we lose more than one not gonna have uh the, the best go but um i can maybe even fortify this all the way up to capital and uh, and feel okay there's a potential for a one point noob corner up here uh, but with orange out of the game snowball opportunity maybe opens up on the bottom of the board here uh, we don't know where red is capped red is still in the game we do get our six troops we're going to go in here and try to take spain turn one i am going to roll this as well please succeed it does delightful we're going to slider our five on six we lose two i'm gonna roll a 75 percent four on two and we win it i might as well keep this over here and pull this back to capital but we get spain we win the four on two despite losing two troops before that um not a bad start not a bad turn one what does black do here maybe i should have pulled this out dumps eight hits me i'm not gonna let you hold that I'm gonna be honest because you're going to have to get through this over here as well. I didn't like that he hit my two there. Maybe I could have pulled that out, but I didn't think black was going to be the person on this line down here. Um, but maybe we got to do some snuffage. Snuff this player out of here, not let him hold anything. Um, I definitely think the Spain bonus is the stronger of the bonuses along the bottom here. We're also going to have purple likely going into Orient. I would actually go out. I would take self... Uh, is he trying to somebody cap directly behind him i wonder if the orange cap is accidentally placed directly behind him um he wins it without losing anything and then splits so i think that was the orange no yes that was the orange cap placed behind him because orange is only getting five it should get seven um that's a botted player that kind of stinks that that placed it behind purple but he'll start with seven on the next turns or maybe even eight if he's got enough territories uh, so not bad yeah, so I'm not really compelled to allow black to hold much of anything down here. Um, red gets eight. I assume black hit with his cap here, so we just go in and we just sit some troops here. Um, hope that he doesn't have anything down in here. 
and then hope that blue doesn't try to roll us, right? So hopefully red's like middle of the board, maybe quarrels with blue a little bit. Purple just takes some time to get going here. Um, but I think black's going to be our major enemy. Because I don't want to let black get established because we're going to end up fighting over the same positioning. Blue quits. So red went heavy into blue. Blue quits already. Neutral bot snowball. Right away. Um, I do find black there. That's fine. Bring that back to cap. Leave that in front of black. He's going to roll it again. Hopefully he doesn't get good, nice to get good enough dice to get over to me. Made sure to hit him out of here. We might even be able to get this bonus on the next turn. Maybe he quits because he got broken, or maybe he just goes for something completely different. Um, if he's not capped down here, if this it wasn't a cap that he had over in Egypt, bold, six on three, not 100%, does win. He's going to try the four on two. Maybe. If he doesn't try the four on two, I think that's a mistake. Yeah, I'm just going to hit that again. Sorry, pal. Fergus is here, everybody. The man, the myth, the cat. Fergus has arrived. He's ready to roll. Oh, is Black in this bonus? Black is in this bonus somehow. I don't know how he had enough troops to do that. Because he said thanks. Uh, you're kind of telling on yourself there, pal. I don't even know how he got enough troops there. And, and rolled a six on three. Didn't lose anything. I feel like I always lose troops when I roll stuff like that. Um, but... If he's in the middle of the board, hopefully maybe Red will break him. Red's getting 13 already. That must be maybe some noob corner action already. But he said thanks. Uh, makes me think. I saw Black do additional attacks. I think Black took Daenerys in the middle of the board. What does Red do? Does Red insta-break purple here? Maybe. Hits purple to the right. Why me? Why choose me? I don't know. I think black's in the middle. Red only attacks once. Um... Doesn't have the doesn't have a bonus in the middle. All right, good to know. Puts three more troops over here. Bold, because purple comes down, right? Potentially rolls his capital. He's committing everything here. I probably should have just kept the troops in his bonus. But if he loses his capital, that'll be about as telling as it can be. Lost his cap. Sweet. We can take the bottom freely. Overcommitment there by Black, and it worked. We baited him into trying to over-defend his bonus. Nothing like a little bit of aggression. We can afford to put troops on cap now. We can afford to clear the bottom. We've got a 9 buffer in the way. But purple is going to get kind of strong here. Getting 12, so it has that middle bonus. I'm going to need to make sure troops land on cap on this next turn because red is strong and potentially coming down and, and whacking us. Purple sees what we've got here. Got double player to bot, and orange will eventually lead this game. Sorry, not even bot, flag. Uh, red's going to get big pretty quickly, knock us out of the top. Hopefully purple acts as an ally as opposed to an enemy, but I don't anticipate that happening if I'm being completely honest. Um, I've got this blue territory down here. It might be worth trying to keep that in the tank. Does he hit my two here? I'd probably take as much board as you can. And it seems like he is taking as much board as he can. And Red Snowball might get out of hand. 13, what, double cap, noob corner, and then now has Scandi. That would be my best guess. Um, purple has three caps. We have 16 territories, 11 troops. Um, this is difficult. Nine, and then... Or I guess we'll try that. Let's try this roll first. 
because I got a split, right? I wanted to leave enough troops behind. Five on two. We're going to try it. I do win it. Bringing this up to capital. And it's possible purple breaks me here with this plus 15, but I needed to make sure I had troops on cap. Because um, at least I got this nine buffer here. He might just swing over and wail on it. But that's okay. Orange officially is gone. So we're in a three-player game. We're 11 minutes in. Purple leaves me alone. All right. Um, I'm wondering if he, if Black completely pulled off Cap to try to defend this bonus. And then when that happened, Purple was already right next to him and just said, all right, screw it. I'll take it for free. Um, the next step here is going to be, how do I... Create a trust with purple and not spook red. Not sure that's possible. 20 on 12 would be devastating. Doesn't roll me. Comes off cap with that, but doesn't roll me. That's interesting. I'm very okay with that. I leave, I leave this here. I absolutely leave that there. I absolutely leave this here. Because if somebody... At Black's worth three cards. If somebody opens this up... Purple's getting how much? 14. He doesn't have this bonus yet. He might have just taken it, though. Or he got tried to take this and stopped it. Stopped it black. Red gets 18 again. I think I want to try to slow take um, Russia. See if these guys allow me to do that. Because I'm only getting... Well, I'm also getting 18, so me and Red are both getting 18 right now. Purple's going to get more than both of us right now, unless Red takes an additional bonus. Blue is only worth one card. This might be the blue kill right here. I don't really know how much of the board is shaped out in the middle, because I didn't have any material in here to begin with. Um, pretty much all my material was on the bottom, and then up in Russia. I don't think Red does anything super offensive there. Um, all right, 10 on five up here, rest on cap, we trade a little bit more on cap, might as well see if this is the blue kill, oh, no, there's quite a bit more blue, what do we got over here, I'm just going for vision, yeah, there's a quite a bit of blue there, well played. Getting that off of uh, off of red. I'm more scared of red than I am of purple, despite purple's count. Because purple's, for some reason, 15. Does that make sense? 9 plus 6? 9 for caps plus 6. Yeah, but that, I mean, that's an 11 territory bonus. He's definitely, he doesn't have Orient yet. He's still only got this Southeastern Europe. Very intriguing. Does he blast blacks 9 here is my question. Do I have a set on three? I don't have a set on three. Got vision on what are likely Blue's final two territories. Now I think Purple takes Orient here. I don't think killing Orange is very smart. That doesn't do anything for you. All right, that does literally nothing for you. I mean, I guess it's taking board, but... You don't get anything off of that kill. There's no cards. I wouldn't waste anything on orange unless you were taking a bonus. But orange is out. Does red go for blue here? Extra cards in a three-player game are going to be very, very important. Uh, speaking of very, very important, very, very important, new subscribers to the channel. Uh, I think I've mentioned some of these guys before, but if I haven't, good. Uh, like Simon Harsanyi and uh, Brandon Goldberg, I think I've mentioned before. Uh, 
as well as Dustin Ham, Jonathan Colton, Nicholas Jammer, Umbreon Zakic. I think I've mentioned all you guys before, but I know I have not mentioned uh, Min Tem and Robert Hooper. If you want to get a shout out in an upcoming video, guys, all you got to do is subscribe. Make sure you have public subscriptions. I'll give you the shout out that you so deserve. Just like both of those guys. I think these two opponents are kind of slow. Red's not very deliberate in his maneuvers here. Pulls out this way. I'm just going to try to kill blue outright right now for the extra card. I might as well. Um, 14, 13, 10. Hmm. Interesting. One of them's hiding blue somewhere. Well, that'll be like an extra card that's actually worth it. Because he wouldn't be on this line because black had all of this. Yeah, purple still doesn't have this bonus. He was hiding blue down there. Fair enough. Guess I'm kind of hiding black, so... That gets an extra card. Well played. Does he also try to come hit black? Because if he comes and hits black but not with enough troops, that's that's more ideal for me. He fails. So he feeds me black. That's good, at least. Red gets 23 now. So red did not have Central Europe before this past turn, which I knew. I saw him attack in there. Um... We get the black kill for three cards. That does jump me ahead of purple, but it offsets me on both of these guys. So I I take my card, get three, pushes me to six. No, sorry, pushes me to seven. I trade back down to four. I'd get a card. I'd be back on five after the turn and after purple sets. So I'd be, I'd be right behind purple again. Um, basically where I'd be anyway. But we would be, and we'd still be ahead of red. All right, that's fine. Because red's on four now. I'll end up on five after the turn. I don't bother trading. So that trades me. Take Naples, might as well. Um, play a trust exercise here with purple since I'm going to have a set I'll play a trust exercise with him we'll see what happens Bad play by purple. You're going to get full scent, brother. I don't know what the heck that was. I don't know why you did that. I'm going to break everything you have. I tried to play a trust exercise. That was a really, I think that was a really pretty abysmal play by him. I don't know why you would do that. I, I literally pulled the troops back. I let you take the extra bonus. And now you're just going to sacrifice that. I'm not really worried about red setting and taking my cap because I don't think he can. He just, yeah, he just locked himself off. Um, technically, I would have pathing over to purple with my capital there. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, red even splits these. Yeah, I'm not particularly worried about the red player. Um... Take as many territories as possible. Come on. Here. 27. There we go. What's that?
He's gonna trade and break me. I don't have a set. How much did you just lose? 11. Sweet. I don't know why you'd pick a fight with me, dude, when there's a much stronger player. That's a really aggravating play. You're not going to hold this. So I don't know why. Actually, if he comes and opens my five here, that would be delightful. Just extra troops is necessary here. Dealing with a player like this. But you said on three. Now you have nothing. He just exhausted all of his troops here. And you're coming off this capital? 13. There's nothing over here. I don't have a trade, but... He's got, like, next to nothing on that cap. I think I just beeline for the capital. I've got a lot of territory still. If he doesn't fortify this back, I beeline for the capital. He's fortifying off one of his other caps. Signal to red, see if he gets involved, but... I don't think red's going to be aggressive enough. He, he got the positioning he wanted by snuffing blue out early. He's just going to make these all 20s. He's literally going to make these all 20s. So I think I can just afford to continue fighting this battle with purple. I'll definitely trade in before him, and the trades are going to be higher when I trade, so... I might as well whittle as many ter I don't really care if I open a cap because he's probably going to take back. 32. That might actually swing around here. It's too slow, though. Does he just stop there? He might just stop there. Yeah, he stops. Bummer. Um... Let's see. Red could set on three and hurt me here, but uh, it's something I'm willing to deal with. I don't want to let purple get through this. Maybe he does, but I want to. I want him to exhaust his resources here. Do I have a set? I don't have a set on four. You gotta be kidding me, man. No trade on four is killer. Um, I think he's trying to decide if he wants to try 22 on 20 over here, which probably wins. Definitely a positive roll. And, and you know, maybe purple, red, 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 red as the, a player who's not going to, uh, to try anything here. A very safe player, a second place player. And that's why he went into me. That's certainly a possibility. But I, I thought we might have a decent rapport down here. It was not the case. It does seem as though this purple player may bot out. And that's... You guys have seen it on the channel many times. It's been my kind of... It's my... Yeah, he quits. It's my general play style. And that play style... With that play, if red sets here, I almost certainly died. I don't have a trade. Um... If Red's smart, that is. If Red commits to... If he realizes Purple quit, he should full send me. But he might just split all of his troops up here again and, and continue playing slow. 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Yeah, it looks like that's what the, what's going to happen. Um, so I need to kind of fly under the radar here if Purple remains botted. The... Um, What was I going to say? Um, I think purple quit because I I retaliated, but that's always kind of my thing is I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, and if they betray me, um, I, it takes a lot to regain my trust. I've had some games. We had that one with the orange player a couple weeks ago who uh, who betrayed us, and I, I bamboozled him. Bamboozled maybe isn't the right word, but... Kind of that general idea. Bamboozled him for a while and then came back in and uh, regained my trust. We'll see how many of these bonuses Red breaks. He'll let me back into the game if he 
isn't careful. Purple's only worth one card. I think just getting this cap and then breaking it so... Assuming it stays about breaking it so that it can't recover. And then letting it quit, and then I full send red whenever that happens. But, uh, yeah, we managed to... We, can, we gave black... Sometimes i got to pick a target early, right? If I know that they're going to be a long-term problem for me... A player leaving troops on this bonus down here when they're capped on the other end of, of my extended hold. Um, certainly dangerous. So, ideally I win this cap and then I can get a nice screenshot for the video. But yeah, red red's dropping the fives across the board. And... Uh, maybe I even take this in the middle. He's very slow in terms of his decision-making, and he's exemplifying extra bonus defense. So I think what I do, I don't even worry about killing Red. I let Red take his one card up here. He's wasting a lot of times on each of, uh, time on each of these turns, which either gives Purple the chance to come back, or alternatively uh, lets Purple bot out, I mean, I guess just as fast, on fewer turns. Um, trade... I'll just take this, and then this. Trying to reduce the amount of car or troops that the bot gets. And swing this over here. I'm making my turns nice and quick, but we'll eventually just take Red's cap is the goal. Because he's defending so much non-cap stuff. That I should be able to do that. We don't have a trade on three. He does have a trade. And we knocked it down, so it was getting 17 before we knock it down to 9. Just so whatever I have to hit is cheaper. Red is now up to 25 troops. I guess he was on the previous turn as well. Um, but I think I can wrap this up. We'll try to do it quickly here for you guys. But uh, I got my wish of a, a semi-decently fast game. Is he going to go 42 on each spot now? I guess so. Um... Oh, he goes 45 on that one. Powerhouse. Only 36 there. Did he run out of troops? If he ran out of troops, that means he put a bunch on cap, which does concern. He's still drafting, so. 11 more. I mean, these are obviously threatening. I shouldn't take them... Uh, I shouldn't take them lightly. Interesting that he attacks with the three. Doesn't want to hit purple. So I have to secure all the capitals. Um, let's see what I can do here. Once I get this, if I've got a trade, I might be able to make a move on him. I think I wait till five cards, then I try to make my move. Bots down to what, five? Yeah. At this point, I could probably kill the bot. That would actually probably save us time, right? If I kill the bot. I think that saves us time. Maybe red will help instead of hitting me a ton. Maybe red will help. There's red quitting too. I think red's like a pretty beginner level play. Player, I should say. Uh, commits everything up here. Interesting. Very delayed. Gonna hit me. I wonder, how much of this does he take? Does he stop? Can I get it on this turn? Because that would auto-trade me. I think I might be able to. Let's do 50, 51. No, I don't get it this turn. We'll get it next turn. Kind of want to bait him into thinking he's got the kill. 
but I don't think I can. Red's got two caps. I wonder if he's defending both of them. I also wonder if they aren't both up here. I think they probably are, but... Let's try to wrap this one up if we can on this next turn or maybe the turn after. Got purple here. It dumps everything here. Okay. That's a little bit more ambitious. He hits purple. Sweet. Oh, here he comes. I think he's too slow to get this, but if he takes this capital... He's actually... I've activated him. It's like a sleeper agent. <laughs> um, and speaking of activating things, if you guys wouldn't mind activating that subscribe button and the like button, you'd be able to see more of my content and you'd also be able to support me, which I would greatly appreciate. He doesn't roll this. He just breaks me. I wonder if that all went back to capital. All right, we trade. Um... Forty. Forty should be enough. We put the rest here. Mm. I don't know if he thinks I've won. I have not won. Maybe he thinks he's won. He can't he can't kill this cap. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why he didn't roll any capitals either. Is he gonna drag this out? He's gonna put everything on cap. That would be unfortunate. Maybe he knows he can't compete with my speed. That would be nice. Oh no, he puts everything up here. I don't at this point, put it on your 62. You've got the pathing over this way. He might get to Orient with his speed. I don't think he gets to the caps. No. He doesn't get to the caps. Alright, we trade and we see if we can bust his capital. Well, he split, so he doesn't even get to Orient either. I don't even think he cap ca captures Russia. So he's got 162 troops here, but he's very... Um, weak comparatively. What does he got here? Is he defending? Oh, well played. Um, all right. Well, that creates a little bit of a dicey atmosphere here. Because he's actually defending his capital, which is going to make this take much longer. Not going to open that stack up. These two caps that hold the big extended thing are better. I don't know why he keeps saying good game. You've got, I mean, just, we can see he's got about a, at least a hundred more troops than me. I want him to roll some capitals. That's what I want. Like, I want him to be line left here. He's actually defending this, which is surprising yet impressive. Come on, hit it. There it is. Loses 22. All right. It's net negative. He'll leave some troops on it. No. Okay. So he doesn't get to the bottom at all. Is 12 on an 18. All right, that makes no sense. Um, don't stop. Go break stuff. I don't love him coming off and staying off that capital. Oof, loses 105 on a 90. Only gets 40 off. Is he going to roll this too? He is going to roll that too. I'm trying to come down with a 45. Uh, he probably has a trade on this next turn. So, so 
get this to a 50. I don't think he puts enough down here to take this bottom one. I don't have a set yet. But he's got 62 locked troops up here. And he kind of just sacked everything into me there. And he doesn't have direct pathing to this. So he can clear out the middle. He doesn't trade, which is interesting. Uh, which gives me this Ankara cap for free. Unless he fortifies to it. Maybe he's trying to bring this over to fortify. Or maybe he just breaks everything. Breaking everything is not a bad strategy. <clears throat> I think Red has a decent idea of what he should do. He's just, unfortunately, far, far too slow. And now we get to see this fortify. Yeah, so we see the 62 come down to that capital. Um, which really just means I need to... Uh, I don't want to let that out. I don't care about locking the caps. I don't want to let a 43 out. Um, oh, I let the 43 out. All right, well, I let the 43 out, so... Just take as much as I can. He trades. Do I think I have a full trade? I do. I should be able to beat him here. He stops. Pulls everything back into capital. That's fine. Just set blocks. If he trades, he trades, and then it just takes even longer, but that's all right. All right, now. Pull off cap. Oh, okay. Not the one I meant to attack with, but that's okay. <clears throat> Set on three. Sweet. That's always nice. Now, pull off cap. Nope. Okay. All right. Not going to risk the roll. Not 100%. It's got both of these caps defended, too. So... I was wondering, I was going to say, does he fortify the other troops over? And the answer to that question is yes. I still don't have a trade yet. Got to make sure he can't cap run. This is 100%. Yes. Good game. Well played and a big old thumbs up to you, sir. Yeah. I'll lose 376 on 254. All right, Red got second. And it felt kind of the way Red was playing that whole time that Red was going for second. But I will take it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Interesting battle for sure. Purple quit on us. I think I've played against this purple player before. Couple beginners. Black was an intermediate who bailed on us. Um, all right. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you next time, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.